And we are back with more Final Fantasy 2! When we last left off, we made it back to Altair, and through some of the villages and stuff already, the Dreadnoughts already wrecked this havoc, and Altair is not safe from its grasp. But we found out that a Sunfire runs the uh, Dreadnought, so we gotta go find out what to do about getting the Sunfire. There's one thing we gotta go do, then we can finally continue on our little journey. And that's talk to the geek. So many perished in a Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrendered to the Empire. Ask about the Sunfire. Scott sealed the gates of Caution Keep to protect the Sunfire in the event they were defeated in battle. You will need the Goddess's Bell to break the seal, so let's learn Goddess's Bell. Ask about the, the whereabouts of the Bell are known only to the Caution Royal family. So, let's ask her. Let's go back over here and ask Hilda about the Sunfire and the uh, Goddess's Bell. My father condition is improved. I think real Nancy men will ask her first about the Sunfire. Sunfire is a grant that we already asked you. Ask her about that already. So let's ask her about the uh Ask her about the goddess's bell. I've heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of caution keep open only to the voice of a caution or the ring of that bell. The bell rests deep within a cavern to the snow plains and would not be easy to retrieve. It was your intention to enter the snow cavern? Very well. If only Gordon were here, there would be no reason for you to risk such danger. But he isn't, so you must. There is nothing I can do but pray for your success. Joseph knows the snow plains at the back of his head. You should seek his counsel. Alright, so that's our next goal, is to attain the Sunfire and the Goddess's Bell. And apparently Joseph knows the snow area very well, so guess what guys, we get to go back to Salamand. You go talk to Joseph about getting the, about see where we need to go from there. So, we got a little bit of a trek ahead of us, but ain't nothing big deal about all this. So basically, we're gonna go start headed toward uh, get past this one stupid goblin. All right. So now we're gonna head across on his canoe to get to the ne uh, town over here. Pop, go to airship. And hopefully the airship will be able to take us to Salem. Oh yeah, we gotta get on a ferry. Sorry, mate, the shit's up for Pop. Oh, wow. Alright. So we're gonna have to take this the long way. It's way up there. So, we're gonna head as north as possible. Get past all these stupid little hornets. Nothing to it, though. So, yeah, our next destination is to get to... Tell y'all how y'all doing today. It's... Uh, gotta go to work tonight, as usual. But, eh, what can you do? Let's head north, 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 as fast, as uh, far as you can. So, oh my god, he's actually gonna hit us. Ow. Alright, and then just destroy this last goblin guard, and there we go. Hooray! Alright, just go ahead around it. All this shit's just really easy. Easy work right now, just kind of destroy everything. Mainly doing it for stat points, what can you do? Alright, so, let's see, Salamand. Keep heading north, as north as we can go. Just keep following the north. La la la! Destroy the goblin! I actually want- the goblin actually hit one of us. Oh wow, they're actually hitting us! Leave us alone! 
Leave us alone! So let's just wipe these motherfuckers out. That is where getting the game starts getting the, the plot of the game and everything starts taking for interesting. Because at this point of the of the game, all you were doing really was uh going from one point to another, asking the queen what to do, or the, the princess what to do, and she tells you what to do, but now it's going to get to the point where you get to uh, figure out some stuff about the story, find out about the main antagonist, everything's going to start, to start getting to the nitty, uh, interesting now. Uh, some HP increases. Alright, so Sally has a little bit left east or west of us, so let's just get through all these stupid little goblins. Of course. Why else what, what else what would be fighting at this point in time but goblins? Ha! You st missed, stupid goblin. Alright. Oh, uh, this Salamander. But of course we're gonna get some stupid goblins. I can only imagine what they would look like going into a town, getting shot by arrows, getting punched, and all that kind of stuff. They probably got bruises, they got arrow wounds all over their body, blood dripping down their body. They probably don't look the best in the shape in there, and people be like, they're the heroes that are supposed to be saving us. They can't even get past some goblins and stuff that they'll get hurt, and they expect us to get through the, uh, the, the, the them get through the empire. Uh, I know it's just kind of nitpicky, but I, I thought that was funny. It's just like, oh, we all hurt. I mean, uh, you would think staying at the end wouldn't hurt that much. Okay. So anyway, we made it to Salomon. First thing, the only thing we really need to do here is go talk to Joseph. If I can remember where the guy's at. I can't remember. I think he's right up in here. Nope, that's not it. All right. This must be Joseph. Hello, we're back, Joseph. It looks like you managed to shave my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me. If there's anything I gotta do to, I can do to help. All you gotta do is ask. Ask him about the uh, Sunfire. Nope. Got a spell. The only way to reach the snow cavern is on my snowcraft. I keep the snowcraft hidden in mine. There's a blue stone. Look behind the stone and to the right. The snow secret room's in there and the snowcraft is inside. I'm sorry I couldn't help you find a mithril, so I want to make it up for that pitch in the nail. What are we waiting for? Let's go! And we get Joseph as a party member. <laughs> la, 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 la. And Joseph, since he's like a monk, or like a ninja kind of guy, uh, he has no magic on that stuff. Putting a weapon on him will actually be counterproductive. Yeah, he fights with his fist, and that's all he needs is his fist. His fists are very, very powerful, and that's all he needs. Putting anything else on him will actually be kind of uh, detrimental and counterproductive. So we're not going to equip him with any weapons. Now we're going back. Now we get to head back to Summit Falls. Alright, so we gotta figure out where Simic Falls is at. Okay, go around this mountain. I'll, you'll see what I mean about Joseph here in just a second. Watch this. Yeah, everybody else need, needs weapons, but Joseph fights fine with just as good. See what I mean? <laughs> So we're just going to get through all these hornets and stuff like that. We gotta go around the mountain and onto the uh, 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 until you see uh, around the mountain until you see a river. And once you see the river, head through the river and it, takes, it should take you right to Simmon Falls, which is where we need to go to get Joseph Snowcraft so we can get to this at a sword level increase. Oh shit! I 
Yeah, I thought after in the battle they. All right, so go here to the. Let's get through all this real quick. One hit kill. Hoo ha! I remember those days to give me a little bit of problems. All right, so now here's the river. So just go down the river and just stay on the river until it gets you all the way to Seven Falls. There it is. Let's go see what's going on in Seven Falls. All right, it says go over here. And you'll see a little blue block. Let's get through all these little goblins. I right, see Joseph is... I wish we could keep Joseph, but there's no way we can, unfortunately. La, 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 la. Alright, so this is the blue block he was talking about. Alright, let's get through this little soldier. Easy as pie. I thought you could go there to uh, this blue block right here. I'm pushing all the buttons. I don't know what to do. Ah. Alright guys, I guess we're going to end it here until I can figure out what to do with this blue block. So when we come back, we're going to figure out about the blue block and uh... And, uh, get the snowcraft to make our way to the snow cavern to go try to get the goddess's veil and the snow, the sunfire and all kind of stuff. So, have a good day. I will see you all next time on Final Fantasy 2. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer, signing out. And we are back with more Final Fantasy 2.